Taking a closer look now at COVID deaths in two of the Valley's largest counties. Eight virus-related deaths in Hidalgo County today, among them two men in their 30s. We're still waiting for Cameron County's COVID report to be released, but yesterday, 22 virus-related deaths reported. That was over a four-day period. Yeah, Channel 5's Monica Deanda joins us live from the Hidalgo County Health and Human Services Department with more on what local doctors are noting. Monica? Cardina, we spoke to the health authorities for Cameron and Hidalgo County, and both agree COVID-related deaths are up, but they say that's expected as COVID-related hospitalizations and cases start trending downward. The natural evolution is that if we peak four weeks ago, our deaths are peaking now. Hidalgo County Health Authority Dr. Ivan Melendez says the increase in COVID-related deaths is a result of the Omicron wave. Data from Hidalgo County for the last month shows 181 people lost their life from virus complications. Melendez is also noticing something else. By day 13, 14, man, you, you come to the hospital. Now you've been running around for a couple of weeks uh, with this virus. You, you start getting treatment. By now your body's initiated that cascade of inflammation. It may take another two, three, four weeks for you to pass away. And it's a similar situation over in Cameron County. So the people who are dying, though, uh, it might end up on a ventilator, a breathing machine for weeks sometimes, uh, even a month or so. Cameron County Health Authority Dr. James Castillo says even though COVID-related hospitalizations are down 70 percent in Cameron, deaths are not. Over the last month, Cameron County reported 109 people died of virus-related complications. 22 of them reported yesterday. For example, in the most recent report of deaths, only one person of the 22 was fully vaccinated. The pair of doctors say they're no longer seeing as many people in their 20s and 30s dying. Right now, they say it's mostly a mix of people in their 40s all the way to the elderly. And although vaccines cannot prevent infection, both Castillo and Melendez agree. Vaccines do make a difference in helping your body fight a COVID infection. If you have zero antibodies, never got the shot, never got sick, you're in the worst situation. If a person was vaccinated, fully vaccinated, and still got a breakthrough infection that it put them in the hospital, they tend to get better quicker than they were before. Uh, it really matters whether or not the person had been vaccinated uh, as to how sick they get. Both doctors say we could start to see COVID-related deaths slow down in the next few weeks, but say it could even take a few months. Now, they want to encourage everyone to make sure they're up to date on their boosters, especially the immunocompromised. Live in Edinburgh, Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News at 6. Cameron County's COVID report now in. Five virus-related deaths reported just minutes ago. 57 new infections also reported.